Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo and today we will be unboxing and setting up the Canon Avalon Miner 1246. Now this one does take quite a bit of power consumption. It rates at 3,420 watts. The decibel level does get pretty loud. It's about 75 decibels and it's able to do a hash rate of 85 terahash. So first off, this one will be set up here at the house. I just wanna see what it looks like, how it performs here inside of a residential location. Right after that, I will be moving it over into our mining facility. It's a more of a, a commercial location with better electricity rates, things like that. It's also gonna be super cool. Uh, later on, we will be taking off these fans. So this way, this thing can sit in dialect fluid. So this way, it can stay a lot cooler and also muffle the sound and just get the, the highest output out of this thing that we can. So if you are looking into getting into mining Bitcoin and Ethereum and quite a few other coins, because this machine itself can do more than just Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And I'll place a few of those up here on the screen right now. I'm also gonna be placing a few more of its specs on the screen right now. So if you guys are interested in both of those. Um, also too, I'll be placing links for the different cables and attachments I had to purchase because this one here doesn't really work in the United States. And so I was able to purchase other cables to get this thing up and running. So if you're looking into getting into any of these coins to mine, you'd be able to take a look at asicmarketplace.com, which is where this miner came from. So if you're looking for a trustworthy, good, honest, loyal website, take a look at asicmarketplace.com and then you'll be able to see what their inventory is. The cool thing is, is that they do have some used machines. So if you're looking to not only just get something that's brand new, but if you want to get one of their, their good tested uh, used machines, then you'd be able to get one of those and also save just a few coins. Now, when you take a look at this miner, and I will be getting some more B-roll shots and just getting a closer look. So on the back, what you'll see is going to be the power source. You also have your power switch. And then on the top is gonna to be your plugs for fans one, two, three, and four. And so here you can see all four of the different fans. And again, as I mentioned from before, uh, I will be leaving this the way that it is for the first month or two months, and then I will be taking off the fans. So this way we can really just get this thing going as high powerful as possible. Uh, and then you do also have your port for ethernet. You do wanna plug this thing directly in. So not only will this product be linked below the video inside the description, taking you over to asicmarketplace.com. I'll also be placing all of the different links for all the different cables that you could or may possibly need to use for your house. And if you did wanna see what the box looked like, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Everything was all taped up. You can't see what the product is on the inside. It's just going to be your phone that held everything. It was very basic, very simple. Uh, and also too, I'm going to share with you the pool that we're going into with this miner. We do have one other miner that is attached, been running it for about three or four days. And so now we'll be attaching this one to that same pool. So that is it for this portion of the video. Now we're gonna head downstairs, get this thing connected, plug in the ethernet, and let's get this thing running. I'm gonna show you what pool that we are using, uh, and then also just the application you can also get it with. It's actually a very nice application for this pool. You can watch everything. It shows you how it performs every single day. So at the end of the day, you can see what it did on Thursday, what it did on Friday, what it did on Saturday. Just in case if you need to look at anything for tax purposes in the future, you basically have everything listed day by day day by day. So here are the cables that I'm using. There is one that is attached to the back of the machine and then the other one has an adapter that went into the same port that you would use for a dryer. Now this is just a quick demonstration for anybody who is brand new into mining Bitcoin and just how powerful these machines are. The rear fans are used for air intake while it pushes it out the other end, which is where you get that higher temperature and humidity. Now this is just me showing off just the decibel levels of the machine itself. You can see that it was supposed to be right around 75 decibels, but it was reaching closer to 80. And now giving a fast demonstration, people wanna know what is that like? Well, well, it could be just like that vacuum you have at home, plugging it in and running it all day, almost the exact same decibel level. 
And now over to the phone stuff, I'm gonna show you F2 Pool. This is the application, but originally when I was setting it up, I did it with a laptop right next to the 1246. Uh, but I wanted to show you just the convenience of the application and what it looks like and also the revenue and how it's performed so far after two days being online. And then I also wanna show you a couple different websites. These are just icons of websites that I've saved to my phone as an icon, but I'll be placing these links below the video inside the description if you guys wanna take a look at this really any day after this. So you can see the other other mineable coins. You can take a look at all the other pools that you can personally choose from, as well as the profitability per each day. So first off, when you go inside of the F2 pool, again, this is the one that was chosen. Uh, again, personal preference, you can really choose any of them, which we'll cover here in a second. But I'm going to head over inside of workers, and inside of this page will show the different miners that is running. As of right now, I just unhooked this other one up here. It's offline at the moment. Unplugged it about an hour and 10 minutes ago, actually in the process of of moving to a mining facility, a commercial location, uh, a private location. So then this way uh, I can just get the best big bang out of the buck of all these different miners. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'll have a little bit more of that footage here in today's video, moving everything over tomorrow. Uh, so I'm very super excited to show you how this is performing. So as we all know, the Avalon 1246 is supposed to perform. Uh, there's an option for one that is 85 terahash. And this one has been doing 85 terahash as an average for the last 24 hours as of right now. Now it's doing 87. When you take a look at this worker right here, uh, let's say that we take a look at this scale. You can see that it, you know, it has a little bit of peaks, a little bit of valleys. This is pretty much where it was kind of kicking on, getting started, getting up there. Uh, so you can see that it went all the way up to 91 right there. We went down to about 84. Then we went back up to about 94. The lowest I've seen here looks like to be somewhere around 77, I believe. And then moving right up over here, we went up to 99, almost 100 terahash. And so again, it just kind of goes up and down with whatever it's doing for the day. Uh, for the last 15 minutes, it's been an average of 87 terahash. For the last 24 hours, it's been uh, doing 85 terahash. So here we are on the revenues tab, and most of this is probably gonna be blacked out, but really the most important things is these two tabs right here. Now, when it comes down to the F2 pool, it basically resets and restarts at 7 p.m., at least on my time. So we have the full details of 6.1 and 6.2. And so it looks like it's been running a little bit more efficiently on the 6.2 date. And so because there was two miners running, all I'm gonna do is just basically cut this in half and we're gonna see if it kind of lines up with what it should have done. So for the revenue here, you can see that it was 0 0.0008. So all I'm gonna do is head inside of Google. We're gonna type that in and see what it's worth with Bitcoin right now. So here we are on Google. You can see Bitcoin to USD. As of right now, Bitcoin is only, only trading at a little over 37,000. We earned those three zeros and an eight in terms of Bitcoin, so 0 0.0008. So it's worth $29. So that was the today's revenue, but we have to divide that by two. So we're gonna just simply call it about 14 and a half or $15. So I'm just gonna close out of this. We're gonna head inside of this real-time mining. It's gonna show you all of the different profitabilities of all these different ASIC miners. And so this will always change every time you open up this site. Uh, it's going to update because it's going with the price of right now. And the right now price could be different than 15 seconds ago. Now you can see the Antminer E9. This is one that is just killing it. It's not out yet. I'm super excited to get my hands on that. Hopefully that's the next one I can talk about or maybe two from now. Um, but we're going to go in and we're going to search for that 1246. And you can see that it shows right here right around 11 or $12. So this one is performing as it should as we said from before about 14 15 dollars and this is just as of the price as of right now and again we looked at the price a couple minutes ago so it could have fluctuated so that number is going to be fairly close now we're going to head over to another website and i'm going to show you the different mineable coins that you can mine as well as uh, other different pools you can join so here's just a few other mineable coins that you can do with that sha 256 and so you have a coin you also have the jewel coin uh, you also have Unbreakable, and then here is you know Bitcoin Cash, you have Bitcoin, and then also a few other different ones. Here's a few different mining pools you can take a look at. You have Slush Pool, Nice Hash, Poolin, Ant Pool, Via BTC. So there's just you know quite a few different locations uh, that you can 
you know, join into a different pool. So here's the fun part of today's video. You guys are going on a journey with me. So we will be taking the 1246 to its final resting location, its spot where it's gonna be for the rest of its life. Here we've already unboxed it. We've seen how it performed in a regular household for the last two days. We've seen what it looks like, what it sounds like. Now we're gonna move it over into our mining facility. So this way we'd be able to have a better rate for electrical purposes. So it's a commercial location where the kilowatt is right around four cents per kilowatt versus here residential which is right around nine cents per kilowatt and this way I don't have to heat up the basement don't have to air out the basement with its powerful fans I don't need to have a 50 foot cat 6 ethernet cable going from the YouTube room down over into the basement so let's move over to the next location where it's going to stay and you guys will be with me this whole time now after it's been running for a full month or two I will be taking the fans off of the 1246 putting it into dial electric fluid so then this way we can just really overclock this thing and put as much power into the unit you know going through its ASIC program the purpose of what it's supposed to do rather than having some of its electricity uh, in processing power going to the fans so this way we can really see what this thing can do underneath those perfect prime conditions but again let's head to the location and I, I'm excited to show you what it looks like